Hey there, welcome to another exciting episode of The Low Side Theory brought to you by Damage Manufacturing Supply Limited, www.damagemfg.com on all your favorite social media. <clears throat> this is a supplemental episode as it's a little different than our usual commutes. Uh, today is Lawn Tractor Day! We are visiting my mom in uh, the great state of Washington and I am wearing a motorcycle helmet while driving a lawn tractor in order to mow her lawn. So we are getting a different type of vehicle and uh, we're cutting grass at the same time. So we're riding lawn tractors, we're cutting grass, we're talking about stuff. It's really exciting. And right now I'm not really making a huge effort to cut the grass. I'm just driving around cutting the grass because why not? Because lawn tractors and grass cutting. And the grass doesn't really need to get super cut today, but I figured while I'm here, I'll take a pass at it and get the grass done. Just because, you know, good guys take care of their moms. And so I'm taking care of my mom in the lawn tractor while wearing a motorcycle helmet in 80 degree heat <laughs> and tooling around the yard. So it's silly, it's ridiculous, and I think I just killed a bumblebee. Oh, hey, there we go. So yes, came up to Seattle on Friday night, missed most of the traffic, kind of excited about that. Traffic apocalypse starts in Portland tonight, kind of excited about that. I may actually telecommute tomorrow because it's supposed to be a shit show. And right now, the moms and the wife are inside working on the website for the mom's company, which is pretty awesome. And I'm out riding a lawn tractor. And let's see, what have we done while we were here? Well, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, uh, we went out car hunting for the moms, and we uh, took a look at the uh, Subaru BRZ, which is also the Toyota, Toyota 86, and it was at one point the Scion FRS. And Got the moms in the car. She liked the car. She drove the car. She was very pleased with the car. Uh, it was definitely a good experience. And then we went to the Mazda dealership. Yes. And we had her check out the uh, MX-5 Miatas, the current generation, both the standard club series and the nicer coupes uh, with the RF uh, hardtop convertible. And her first words were, I can't put anything in this car. I can't put a suitcase in here. I can't put groceries in here. What good is a car if I can't fill it with stuff? because, I mean, there really wasn't even room for her uh, um, personal gear in there, much less anything else. And we didn't even test drive the car. I mean, seriously, we didn't even test drive the Mazda because she knew immediately that it wasn't gonna suit her needs. I'm gonna chew up this thing real quick. No! Oh! I think I just wrecked the lawn tractor, folks. Nope, we are fine. The lawn tractor has survived my bad driving. Woohoo! Although I dug a divot with the tire there. I think I may be going too fast. Oh well. But hey, it's lawn tractor day here on the low side theory. And uh, yeah, we've seen that while I can ride a motorcycle, apparently I cannot drive a lawn tractor. But hey, lawn tractors are still fun. All right, now we're gonna go back around the back side of the house here. Woohoo! And the view is gorgeous out here because my mom lives on the uh, Olympic Peninsula. Whoa, I don't know what that was. My mom lives on the Olympic Peninsula here, so the view is spectacular because you can see uh, all of the uh, Western uh, Cascade and Olympic Mountains right from her backyard. And as we come around to the right here, uh, yeah, you can see the view of the mountains right there. It's pretty awesome. Let's come down this way. We're gonna bounce our way down this little hill, which in a lawn tractor is freaking scary. There we go. We're gonna cut around this way and see the neighbor's house. And yeah, all of this property used to be overgrown with big chunks of grub like that, with the overgrowth. And uh, yeah, somebody uh, who might be me might have rent rented a large brush hog and chewed through most of it. Gonna have to hire a contractor to come out and do the rest because yeah, I ain't doing that action. And right now we're just grinding our way across everything because uh, yeah, I almost kind of don't care. I got this lawn tractor used for free so if I uh, messed it up a little bit, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. And it's kind of fun to drive it like I stole it. Feels a little like Grand Theft Auto. Although I don't know if I've ever stolen a lawn tractor in Grand Theft Auto. But if I could, I would. Cut through here. Oh yeah! It's like a demolition derby. Or driving a blender. Yeah! So yeah, took the moms out. Test drove the uh, Toyota... Toyota uh, 86 slash Subaru BRZ Twins. Uh, she loved the car, loved the seats with them uh, nice high walls on the sides. Uh, 
took her to see the Mazda. She sat in the Mazda. Did not like the Mazda at all. So, that was uh, kind of a downer, because uh, I was hoping for more from the Mazda, because I'm a Mazda guy. But uh, yeah, if the car's not the right car, then it's not the right car. And, you know, we have to accept that. So we accepted that the Mazda wasn't the right car. Anyway, uh, we then, after making our decisions and coming to our conclusions, uh, decided to head back to the house uh, after talking about everything. And I sat down and I started plugging her uh, VW Sport Wagon into the uh, website for um, uh, buyback from VW, because they're going to buy back the car, because uh, they're doing that with the cheat and diesels. And after filling everything out, I discovered, uh, yeah, she's going to get like 27 grand back for that car. Uh, I cannot tell you how exciting that is, because uh, for the moms, that means that her new uh, uh, sports car is paid for. I mean, it's literally paid for. So basically, we bought a VW for her in 2013. In 2018, five years later, we're trading it in, rather returning it, uh, and they're giving us a chunk of change for it. And what's going to happen? She's going to get a whole brand new car. And not only is she going to get a whole brand new car, she's going to get a whole brand new badass sports car. So, you know, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little bit dusty. How can I complain about my mom getting a brand new sports car for basically nothing? I mean, she, it's like she rented the VW for five years and now she gets a brand new car. So I'm super excited for her for that. And in order to make everything work, I have a feeling we're going to call uh, USAA because we're a military family and have them finance the new car on the front end. And then when VW cashes out, uh, we'll just pay off the loan and everybody wins. And that way she doesn't have to worry about any stopgap between car purchases. So I'm going to make her call USAA today and get on that action and then everybody wins. So yeah, that was really the highlight of the, this weekend so far, was going out and test driving cars and finding out how much we really did like the Toyota 86 slash Subaru BRZ, uh, just because it's got the options and the features that we were really interested in seeing. And I didn't expect to like it that much, and I don't think she did either, when I basically referred to the moms as she. Uh, yeah, I don't think she expected to like it as much as she did, and I know she really liked the, uh, the Miata based on the styling, but from what I can tell, uh, based on our conversations, once she had a chance to see it in person, sure, it's a pretty car, but it just doesn't suit her as a, as, a, as a driver's car. I mean, it's great as a Sunday track weapon for sure, but she doesn't need a Sunday track weapon. She needs something that she can actually go to the grocery store in, which with that car, you kind of can. So, yeah, we were surprised by that little uh, turn of events is that we liked one car way better than the other, like completely. So, yeah, I'm excited for her to get the Toyota. Um, I'm looking forward to working on it. And let's see what else happened. Uh, went out to breakfast this morning. That was pretty cool. Um, had to struggle to find a diner that was uh, open and wasn't super busy in this part of the woods. Uh, simply because everybody decided to go out to breakfast on a Sunday. And Because, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like cooking breakfast this morning. So we decided to go out to eat. And, uh, yeah, that was entertaining. Walked around downtown uh, Paulsbo, Washington, which is a quaint little town, if not small, and uh, you know goofed around there. And now I'm mowing the lawn. Well, uh, the ladies uh, work on the websites, and then later on, I think I'm probably going to end up teaching my mom how to drive the lawn tractor, uh, which should be an awesome adventure. Um, not that I'm being sarcastic about that, in that uh, I don't think she can do it. In that, um, well, we're talking about a woman who's buying a sports car. So I guarantee you she's going to put the tractor in uh, speed 6. Um, and right now I'm in what speed? I'm in like speed 4 or 5. Oh, yeah, I'm in the 3 or 4. She's going to put it in 6. It'd be hauling all over the yard in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then her first words are going to be, this is as fast as it goes. She's going to be disappointed in the lack of power and speed that the lawn tractor has. Um, yeah. I have strange, interesting life. <laughs> My mom is going to be disappointed in how slow her lawn tractor is. Um, I, however, am not disappointed in how fast the lawn tractor goes, because I've torn ass all over the place in the damn thing. And there's my mom's cat in the window watching this. That's Toshi. Say hi to Toshi, everyone. He's a Balinese kitty. She just got him. He's a good boy. All right, look at that. All right, we're going to slow down. We're going to pop her into gear one so I can clean up next to the porch here. And I'm dragging some big chunks of wood with me. Don't even care. All right, choo, 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 choo. Do, do, do. I'm pretty good at driving this thing, I think. I've never owned a lawn tractor before this one. 
I think I missed a little bit there. Oh well, I'm gonna lose sleep over it. I haven't wrecked it yet. That's good. Not like I did earlier when I slammed it into the porch. <laughs> oh well, nobody's perfect. Like I said, it's my first lawn tractor. You can't hold it up completely against me. All right, now let's finish up this little section here. Oh, I wonder what that is. That's a big concrete thing right there. I don't remember seeing that. All right, let's gear up a speed. I think it's one of the one of the dra gutter drains there. It's the overflow drain. I just didn't know it was there. It's been overgrown for so long, it's kind of silly. We didn't have a lawn tractor for the longest time with this property, so it just kind of grew into a giant massive field. And I had to run a brush hog to go through and cut everything down so I could make it manageable. Which was kind of obnoxious. But it was also still kind of fun. Alright, we gotta go down there and do the, the lower 40 now too. But I want to make sure I got this last little bit. Kicking up a lot of dust. It's also super dry right now. See, that's one thing they don't tell you about the Pacific Northwest, folks. In the wintertime, from October through like April, May, it does nothing but rain. And I mean, I mean that most sincerely, nothing but rain. Um, once it gets to be like May, June, July, guess what? All of that rain dries up and blows away and there's none of it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. hey, there we go, all right. Chewing through the back 40. So yeah, once it gets to be summertime, the rain just disappears, there isn't any. It's just gone. And, uh, then everything gets dry and brown and dusty and it's it's yeah it's it's not lush and green like everybody leads you to think it is um i mean if you look there's lots of pine trees that's why it's green but uh yeah when you mow your lawn unless you have a sprinkler system it all dies just like most of the west coast why people thought it was a great idea to farm out here i have no idea it doesn't rain it's super dry but hey there's lots of wide open spaces for you to plant crops so you know let's just truck the water in from someplace else all right, we're gonna make a loop here. As I grind my way through everything, I'm just murdering this entire chunk of property right now. But I don't care because uh, we still have to have landscapers come in and grade everything. So eventually the property is gonna look a lot nicer and get reseeded as a lawn. And there'll be gazebos and fire pits and guard greenhouses and all that shit. But right now, it's just a mess of sadness. But it's my mess of sadness, damn it. It's mine. And I'll take that. And right now we're we're milking all 20 horsepower of this uh, tractor because I think it's 20 horsepower. I don't even know. I got it used for my guy off of uh, Craigslist or next door. Can't remember which. Super nice guy from the Navy. He just bought a new one. I had posted online and was like, I really need one. Please, dear God, somebody help me. And he messaged me and he says, Hey, I think I'm supposed to give you my old lawn tractor. And I was like, Sweet! I'll come pick it up with the pickup truck right now. Which is exactly what I did. So yeah, sometimes uh, providence and a polite ask pays off because never in a million years did I expect some guy to just be on the internet and be like, hey, I'll give you a lawn tractor. I figured I was gonna spend like 500 bucks. Nope, didn't spend 500 bucks. Got the lawn tractor, go free. Why can't that happen with motorcycles, sports cars, airplanes, and spacecraft? And possibly boobs. Nah, who am I kidding? Um, I got married. There are boobs all the time. Whether or not I'm allowed to touch them, or play with them, or enjoy them, is completely separate. But they're always there. Sometimes they're mad at me, too. <laughs> That's because their owner is sometimes mad at me. But, you know, go figure that. Anybody tell you that marriage means you're never going to fight with your wife? Boy, are they full of shit. Sometimes she gets mad at me, sometimes I get mad at her. And this thing's about to stall. There we go. It does not spin in reverse. So if I put it in reverse, I gotta disengage the blade. There we go, yes. Yeah, if anybody ever tells you that you're not gonna fight with your significant other when you get married, boy, are you wrong. It doesn't matter how great you get along, you will eventually irritate each other to the point where they becomes a fight. It happens, you get over it, you move on. Now, that being said, do I love my wife? Absolutely, I love my wife. I married the woman, of course I love her. Am I gonna fight with her? <laughs> you bet your ass I'm gonna fight with her. Probably regularly for the rest of my life. But as I have told her on many occasions, the day I stop fighting with you is the day I've officially given up and probably means I no longer care. <clears throat> so as long as I'm fighting with you, you know I love you. She didn't get it at first, but now she does. And I think she appreciates it. Because yeah, if I care enough to fight with you, I must love you. And if I love you, I'm gonna fight with you. And we are launched, oh, there was a rock and a half. And we are grinding our way through. Now we're gonna hit the side field. Not really a field like a yard, but we're going to go hit it. It's going to be exciting. 
because I'm sure this episode has just been gripping so far. I'm not doing picture in picture because do you really need picture in picture when you're driving a lawn tractor? I really don't think so. But I figured, hey, what the hell? This would be funny. And uh, so yeah, I'm driving a lawn tractor. It's it's gripping TV, folks. YouTube should should be paying me for this. I'm just saying. All right, we're gonna come up to the side yard here, and I actually do have to unplug an electrical cord, otherwise I'll roll over and kill something. So we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna park. Oh hey, rocks. All right, I'm gonna wipe my nose. Yeah, sweating like a mother. All right. Lawn tractor is in neutral, and I think I just stalled it. Yeah, I don't care. I can restart it. Up. All right, this cable gets pulled away. Lots of bumblebees out today. Yep, this is the property. When we bought this property, it was a horse field. After we bought it, people were still using it as a horse field, even though they, we owned it at that point. And then we built that house from scratch. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bit dusty out, as I've said. All right, now we're back in the land of lawn tractors. Let's see if we can get this thing to start again. And so, assuming I haven't killed it. Here we go. There we go. Now we're rolling. We're in gear. We're dropping the hammer. We're engaged. Here we go, yes. All hail the speed of my lawn tractor. I wonder if anybody's ever done this on YouTube. First person helmet cam video with narration while mowing the lawn on a lawn tractor. I can't say if I've ever come across a video of that, but hey, we here at the Loci Theory are excited to do new and stupid things and I just found a stump. Let me get off of that, Jesus. Yeah, that's a big stump. Gotta goose the tractor back here. There we go. Okay, so maybe going that way isn't the smartest idea. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna put her in gear, crank the base up, get around that stump. Yes, there we go. Now we're chewing again. Yep, this is gonna have to get graded too. Because right now I'm just murdering everything. And I won't care. I won't lie. I don't care about the blades on this tractor. They were the ones that came with it. And the guy that sold me the tractor, or rather gave me the tractor, uh, told me that they were kind of crappy anyway. And that it probably needed to get replaced. So I just haven't bothered to put it up on the jack yet and look at them. So I expect that the blades are probably bagged. And uh, yeah, I'll worry about it when I get around to it. Right now, not too worried. Right now, I'm just mowing the lawn. Or rather, in this case, mowing the dirt. Woohoo! Can't wait for landscaping to happen and for them to truck off all of that shit. Eventually, I plan to build a treehouse on this property. It's gonna be right over here, in this little corner right here. Now, a treehouse would normally mean that I'm gonna put it in a tree, but no, I'm just gonna build a small, tiny house on stilts and surround it with vegetation. Let the forest take it over a little bit. That'll be fun. No reason a fully grown adult person can't build a treehouse, right? Just because you always wanted one as a kid and never got one doesn't mean you can't do it now. <clears throat> All right, chewing up everything. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, I got to drive back to Portland tonight. And that's going to be fun after dinner. Me and the wife will throw it back in the car and haul it back home, which will be fun three hours of madcap boredom, uh, at which point uh, I'm a little worried because uh, traffic apocalypse starts this week in Portland, and in fact it starts tonight. Uh, so I am desperately afraid, and I do mean desperately afraid, that we're going to get like 20, 30 miles from Portland and traffic's just going to come to a dead damn stop. I'm also terrified for my commute tomorrow because uh, normally we go downtown every day of the week, and I'm going to back up the tractor here real quick. Yeah, normally we... Yeah. I forgot to put it in reverse. I'm just too busy talking to you folks. Uh, yeah, normally we uh, have our daily commute of going downtown, which is exciting. But if traffic apocalypse is in full swing, it could take us what normally takes us it's like 20 minutes to get downtown. It could take us like two and a half hours. Tell me why that's a good idea. I can't figure it out. 
So yeah, I might be working from home a lot this week. And thankfully my boss is not worried about that because he knows I'm gonna do my job no matter what. But uh, why, would I get, why would I wanna waste six hours in traffic when I can just sit at my desk with a burrito and a cat and do my job without having to go anywhere? See my point? My point is valid. And we've made some serious progress mowing the lawn today, folks. I mean, seriously, we have made a lot of progress. And this is what you do for your mom. Just saying, if anybody has any delusions about things you do for your mom, mowing the lawn should definitely be one of them. I mean, one, I get to drive a motorized vehicle. So, I mean, really, how bad is it? And I'm just taking the scenic route now. We're going to cut through the gravel again. This is going to shoot gravel everywhere. Yep, there it goes. <coughs> yeah, if anybody has any delusions that you don't do nice shit for your mom, you need to revisit your mom priorities. Always take care of mom. Why? Mom raised you. She put up with all of your shit when you were stupid as a kid. So, you know, you owe it to your mom. Now, I'm not going to play that whole, she carried you for nine months into her womb and pushed you out of her VJ. And so, you know, therefore, you are deserving, she is deserving of everything from you. It's like, no, no, no. Just because you birthed me does not mean you get a hall pass for the universe. Um, it does mean, however, that I owe you one. Um, but, you know, the fact that you put me through elementary, high school, survived my college years, and all of the other dumb things I did, picked me up at more than one police station over the course of my uh, short and stupid life, and uh, have watched me become a functional and uh, contributing member of society, um, I'd say you've paid your dues. So yeah, when it comes to that, if the moms deserves uh, to have her lawn mowed, I am glad to do it. And besides, I'm driving a motor vehicle. Maybe we're gonna truck back there, down that little tunnel, that little uh, land uh, of uh, the lost trail there, and see what we can find back there. We'll go on a little uh, lawnmower adventure. I wonder if the lawnmower can even make it back there. We'll find out. As soon as I finish this triangle, we're gonna jump down that trail and see what we find. See, on another interesting note, uh, historically, I've been using some low-end uh, video uh, editing software to build these episodes of the Low Side Theory. And this weekend, I was gifted um, a very nice piece of audio, excuse me, video editing software, courtesy of a certain fruit-themed fruit computer company. A good friend of mine uh, was able to uh, help me acquire a license to, uh, well, we'll just go out and say it, Final Cut Pro, which, my God, does so much so well. I have so much to learn now because uh, I'm doing all this by the seat of my pants and now I have like world-class video editing software. I can do all kinds of stuff. I am so psyched for this. It's gonna be awesome. So expect my production quality to actually get way better. Um, I'm excited for that. Yeah, outputting uh, episode 11 the other night, yeah, usually takes uh, on a, a low-end computer about three hours, on a high-end computer about 30 minutes uh, with file sizes in the 30 gigs. Um, yeah, last night I, epi I put out uh, episode 11, and I did it in 15 minutes at a 7 gig file size. I was amazed. It was just like, what is this glorious thing that you have given me? And oh my god. Yeah, it's amazing when you've got good software. I'm looking forward to putting it on the Mac Pro when I get home and seeing what kind of juju I can do with that, because I have a feeling it's probably going to just ace through everything. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. It's pretty dusty. And the helmet does not have filters, so I'm not filtering anything out. I'm just breathing the dust. All right, we've just about mowed the lawn here. We're going to go cut down that little alleyway. I'm going to, before I do that, though, I'm going to jack up the blade deck, though. Because right now we're on three. We're going to go up to five. And we're just going to slow down a little bit, too. And we're going to go exploring. Here we go, folks. We're going into the land of the lost. I have no idea. What, oh, that was dangerous. I have no idea where we're going to end up. We might get the tractor stuck, even. I have no idea what's going to happen. We're off-roading in a lawn tractor. Because why not? I expect to find bears back here. Found magnolias, I think. Uh-oh. Can't go that way. That's a big dent. Damn it. And there's the road. Okay, so we got to turn around now. Let's do that. Disengage the blade, put us in reverse. Back this F up. That's a big ass tree stump. There was a huge tree there at one point. Forward, blade deck moving. <clears throat> and we're mowing again. We're gonna mow down that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. 
kill it with blades of death. We actually made a pretty good cut coming down through here. I'm actually kind of impressed. We're gonna swipe it up that far left side and open it up a bit. Kill the ferns. <laughs> Murder. Murder of plant life. Now let's spin around and see what we did. Oh yeah, we opened that up real nice. Let's take out the left side too. All right, here we go. Woohoo! This is such a gripping YouTube, I'm sure. Oh, we <laughs> got the tractor stuck. Let's get her in reverse. Oh, there's a big stump there. That's what we hit. Okay, I was trying to figure out what we hit. Put a neutral, move that tree stump. It's a big old hunk of wood. All right, better. Now, when we're in gear, blade down, and we're chewing again. All right, and actually, we're just not gonna go all the way down. We're just gonna reverse this action. Nope, we're stuck. I guess we gotta go all the way around. All right. Pick up some speed here. Come down to the turnout. We are not blading at this point. That's cool. And I think we uh, hit something again. Yep, we totally did. I gotta goose it back out of this hole now. I knew going that way was going to be a bad idea. Come around this way. There we go. How oh, the fun of driving a 20-year-old lawn tractor. <laughs> Badly. All right. Let's crank it up to six and go blasting out of that little place. Not like we're going to do anything cool, but we're just moving. Yeah, baby. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, folks, I would say we've actually done more than enough lawn mowing here on the low side theory, as you've watched me mow my mom's entire property while talking about random stuff and abusing a lawn tractor. So to that end, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Good morning, good day, good evening, good night, good whatever. Hey, there's my car. Uh, for whatever your purpose, if you have the proclivity, get your license, get a motorcycle, learn to ride be the best thing you ever did. Same with lawn tractors, actually. They're a hell of a lot of fun. More fun than I ever planned on them being. But by all means, <clears throat> learn to ride, get out there, be part of it. Check us out on damagemfg.com, buy a t-shirt, fill out the form, get some free stickers. Definitely get some free stickers. Keep your eye out for enamel pins coming soon. Check us out on all your favorite social media. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to The Low Side Theory. We appreciate your viewage. Also, if you feel about it, click like and click share.